guys i have a bit of a just like a fun extra video i just thought it would be fun to share uh, today i am sharing this this is the happy planner storage case that i bought at michael's it retails for 29.99 but michael's with michael's you can usually get like a coupon i have their app and get 40 percent off an item sometimes they put these kinds of things on sale so i definitely did not pay 30 dollars for it i probably got 40 percent off on it uh, but i bought it so long ago i don't exactly remember but it's, it's actually designed for traveling with your planner, uh, which I think is really cool, and I love that they, they made something like this. Uh, but I use it, or I have used it so far, for traveling with my um, project life and memory keeping supplies. Uh, specifically, I took it to Utah when I was still working on my December Daily album. I haven't unpacked it from them from that trip because I've been meaning to film this video and I finally have a minute to do it. So I wanted to do it. I'm going to apologize that I can't fit the whole case when, when it's open in the frame. Um, just the way I have my camera set up, I don't have the ability to zoom out any further. Um, and I'm sorry for that, but um, I hope you get a sense of it anyway. This is a great case, uh, a lot of great ways to use it, and I just thought it'd be fun to show you one way to use it that's not its intended use. Um, so it's a really nice bag. Um, very well made. It's got great zippers. They're really easy to use. Double zippers are great so it opens real flat. It's got um, reinforced handles, um, mint piping, the stripe. The striping is nice. It's just nice. It's well made. You can tell it, it's pretty well made and it is stuffed to the brim with crafting supplies. Um, so I can tell you it holds a ton. And there's two main compartments so I'm going to open it up and show you, this is the wrong way. I'm gonna open it up this way, actually. Okay, so, doesn't look terribly organized, the things in this pouch, they once were, but then I crafted with a lot of things. Um, so, the nice thing about this is for kind of like looser items like this, you can just corral them in this side. Oh, look, you can almost see the whole thing. I apologize for the glare too, but I had to put the lights on because it's so dark out. Um, so here's one of the sides. You can see, again, opens flat. I don't even have it unzipped all the way, so you could even open it further than flat, I would say. Um, and like I said, I have this stuff to the brim with uh, memory keeping supplies. So what, I, what do I have in this side? I actually have a ton in here. I have all of the um, sticker letters that I wanted to travel with um, for my project. Just a couple extra pieces of acetate, more sticker letters, and then I actually brought a bunch of Christmas cards and things in the back that are really bulky and they just, there's so much room in this slip pocket in the side. Um, really roomy. So if you are you know, somebody who likes to take their planner, if you like, you know, using stickers and crafting supplies with your planner, or you like to memory keep on the go, I think this is great. This little uh, tuck pouch I use for my stamping supplies, so I've got uh, big letters, some phrases, and then my block and um, some inks fit perfectly in there, and I just put these in a Ziploc bag to kind of keep them together. This was the pouch where I just kind of threw in all the loose sticker and kind of small embellishments um, to keep them together. You'll see this is very Christmassy themed because it was when I was working on my December Daily album. Um, but it's great. This, this clear pocket is great because I could see what was in it, um, but I could also just keep everything together. That was this kind of thing, like extra um, Project Life cards and some tags and things. And I did corral some things into little bags. These are little Avery tabs um, that if you follow Allie Edwards, you know she likes to use, and she got me kind of hooked on using those. I put kind of little little decor and stuff in little Ziploc baggies I just keep from things that come in the mail. Uh, more little stickers, and then here are some of the numbers and things that I didn't end up using. So that's great. And then there's a whole other side. So I'm going to unzip that. This is probably my favorite, my favorite feature of the bag, uh, of the case, I mean, because actually I think it lies a bit flatter when you keep this zipped. So you can see that side. Sorry, you guys, it's really awkward to do while you're, film while you're filming. That side had lots of pouches and this side does too but these actually velcro on and off so if you are like me and you're traveling with a lot of pens and adhesives and tools it's great to keep them not only separate but also just 
this in itself is a thing I can grab. Like if I know I need my tiny attacher and my memory, uh, my punch and my scissors and my X-Acto knife and my craft tweezers. Uh, everything fits great in there. It's got a nice zip top, um, but then it goes right on there for keeping it all together when traveling. And then you can see in this one, I have some washi, Christmassy stuff again, lots of pens, and all my ad adhesive. I have a Martha Stewart adhesive uh, marker and the Scotch permanent um, dot tape, which is my favorite, and that red line tape, which I use to death. And then on this side, there's just a simple slip pocket, which I use to put in extra sleeves. I put in a lot because I thought, I I went into my December daily project thinking I was going to do 31 days and I just ran out of steam after 25. So I only went up through 25. And I, you guys, I think I will share it. I've gotten so many requests. So I will do either a video or a post. I don't know. I have to block out some things for privacy reasons, but I will share it in the next month or so with you guys if you're interested. And I have some of my fused sleeves in different sizes. Uh, you can attach in this cool little folder thing from, um, I think this is from Snap as well, this this brand. Um, I think so, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. And then this was just a page protector I cut and I thought I wanted to use a little piece for something else. Anyway, this is just a, a quick little video to show you guys how I use this case for travel. Like I said, if you're a planner person and you have a lot of markers and washi and stickers and and tools and stuff that you like to use in your with your planner with your creating in your planner and stuff like this stuff like that or if you have more than one planner this would be great for that um, because you can see there's just so much room you could definitely put a lot of different kinds of pens in there you could slip a planner on one side and a planner on the other side I think pretty easily uh, and you could put a planner in this pocket. I'm pretty sure that's what it's designed for, a planner in this pocket. I mean, you could really, you know, if you're a multi-planner person, this is even great. Um, and I just packed this in our in my suitcase that I checked, and it worked out great. Um, so I couldn't fit the album in there because the album's almost as big as this case. I actually wrapped the album in one of Charlotte's baby blankets and put it in a huge Ziploc bag and packed it in a carry-on because I was so worried about anything happening to it um, and it, it went great but this this went perfectly well in transit too I would love a case like if I was going to travel with my December daily album again which probably will um, next year when we go to Utah I'd love a case that's this size that's just like padded all around just to hold my album to keep it safe but Really, the baby blanket method worked just fine. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video um, and maybe it gave you some ideas or inspiration. I don't think you need this exact case to make something like this work for you. You can buy cases exactly like, well, not exactly, but very close to this at beauty supply stores, at Target, Ulta, um, that are designed for traveling with cosmetics. Um, I know I've seen things like this before, and, and Tari used to carry things from Orla Kylie that were just like this. Um, so it's just, just something I thought I'd share. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, and that you are well. Uh, happy crafting, you guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.